take a seat for a moment. I, I have to watch it when I get into the Word. <laughs> <laughs> Some about it when I when I get off into this book. <laughs> my, my my plans go awry. Oh my God. Many of you may or may not know. I guess it's been out there long enough now. During the 2003 Holy Convocation, I was stricken with an illness. You all saw me at the leadership conference in 2004 of January. I had lost about 40 pounds. But shortly after that, my strength began to come back. And I began to claim God's healing presence. Later on in 2004, I was stricken again. At the end of the 2004 convocation, I ended up in the hospital. What I never told you all was that nearly two years ago now, from that first series of illness, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. I've been preaching, I've been serving, and in spite of that, every time the enemy counts me out. God raises me back up. <laughs> My family, like so many other families, has had a strong how shall I say that uh, propensity for cancer? Our first elected presiding bishop died with cancer at 77. My brother, W.A. Patterson Jr., died with cancer at age 59. And then there's been the others in our family. And I know, so I've got, I've got basically two doctors. One of them, you know, he's over there, Elder Charles Wallace. He's my urologist. And uh, whenever I talk to him, his thing is always, God's got a work for you to do, and you're not getting ready to leave here. So since I... Since I couldn't get the clinical answer from him, I asked the oncologist. <laughs> I said, usually if a person has it in the stage where I am, uh, how, how long does he last? He said, I've known some people that went five, six years, usually two years, and that's about it. Well, you know, I'm right there at that two year. But I, I just want you, but I just want you to know this one thing. I just want you to know this one thing. You know, I, I don't have the time nor energy for how many million members do y'all say we got? For everybody to come by and the Lord sent me to lay hands on. No, no, no. Uh, there are a lot of pictures of me around there. Lay hands on the picture. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't take up all my strength because see some of us still haven't learned that laying on the hands don't mean no, no. 
I know what prayer can do. I know what prayer has done. But the problem my wife and other folk that are close around me have with me is the fact that uh, they can't get me to just close the door. I'm too much like Paul. Paul says to, he said, I'm in a strait betwixt two. Uh, he said to uh, depart and be with the Lord. He said, that's far better, but to stay with you is needful. But he took the position that whichever way, Brother Roger, whichever way God does it, he don't have no problem with me. And if he tell me, in fact, I was kind of sick the other day and I asked a question and my wife said, what are you saying? And I asked it again. I said to him, how, long, how many times? How many times, how many times are they going to let me miss roll call? Uh, that, that I woke up, that was in my spirit because I know the roll was being called. And it don't have nothing to do with, with rebuking false prophets. It don't have nothing to do with nothing. Because the truth of the matter is, I didn't know there was nothing official stated. But even in 1996, when I refused to let you all have a recount, it was easy for me to not deal with a recount. Because even that day, during that election, I was experiencing something in my body. As far as uh, health is concerned, I've had some problems a long time before uh, it was officially diagnosed. But I just wanted to say this tonight because it's, uh, you, know, you know, everybody calls and everybody want to know what this, what that. I shared it with the uh, general board several months ago. And as confidential as they are, uh, you know, you talk to 11 men, it's going to be a leak somewhere. <laughs> but I want you tonight. I want you tonight. Be seated. We're going to close after the offering. And after the offering, the general board is going to lead the the congregation in prayer uh, with your presiding bishop in mind. And this will be your opportunity to send up your prayers. But uh, understand this one thing, that even if the Lord would say, Gilbert, come home, it wouldn't be anything but an interruption in a divine plan. <clears throat> We've been preaching this thing. But you know, I believe it. And if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we have all men most miserable. But I do know one thing. That if this book is true, God can do it either way he wants with just the wave of his hand every trace of any disease can disappear and yet on that other side that you all don't like me to go on if he happens to say come on I'll just say, I shall know him. I shall know, shall know him and redeem 
by his side I shall stand Y'all quit that crying I shall know him I shall know Shall know him By the print Of the nail In his hand <laughs> Bless you Mother Van Zandt Hallelujah My mother died of cancer. The sister I'm next to died of cancer. Two sisters have cancer. Two brothers have cancer now. But God healed me in the fourth stage. Hallelujah! There is nothing too hard for God. Hallelujah! The devil is a liar. Woo. Oh, hallelujah. Come on and give him praise in the house. Come on and give him praise in the house. Oh, bless his name. <laughs> praise your God. Have a seat for just a moment. I have never, I've never publicly stated this to my local congregation, not to the national church. And I um, emphasize the fact that uh, with some of our members, I wanted you all to be here tonight. You didn't know what I was going to do. Because I know if you tell the local, it's going to get to the national tell the national it's going to get back to the local. So I just thought I'd just say it in an atmosphere where everybody would get it at the same time. But now y'all know what I want. I want some money. I want some money for Katrina and then there are some who may not have given the $12 membership. The only thing that I want tonight is that whatever you do, do it in a traceable manner. You can use our envelopes that are not um, made out for that particular purpose, but we'll let you use our regular church envelopes and across the top, if it is membership, now bishops, and if there are pastors here and your bishop is not here, then you all should have made this report upstairs in our finance room. But if it has to be done in here, you certainly can do so. Those who want to give special gifts for Kojic Charities, if it is for hurricane relief, we prefer you making it payable to Kojic Charities. At the lunch portion today, we were just a little shy of $200, uh, 2000 whichever, I forget, of doing $108,000 at the luncheon today for uh, Kojic Charities. <laughs> 